Ever struggle with making seamless motion graphics transitions? Hello, my name is SSB Otaru and today using Adobe After Effects, I'm going to show you how to master the art of motion graphic transitions focusing on story, scene planning and continuity. Please help him get to 10k subscribers this year. But now let's understand the storytelling. You see, storytelling doesn't always mean the traditional narrative. Even abstract motion design follows a logical flow. Understanding your storyline helps you determine the asset you will be needing for a particular motion graphic design. For example, if you are animating a tech explainer, you may need a circuit design, UI element, ETC. To help you understand what I mean, now check this Magnet Media Short Explainer. In the video, you can see how he uses relevant elements to support his storytelling. Breaking down your stories into multiple scenes can help you create an engaging motion graphics with a compelling motion graphic transitions. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a simple scene 1 and scene 2. So I'm going to start with a basic composition. Make sure you keep a consistent setting across the two scenes. So for this example, I'm going to use a brainstorming idea. For this, I'm going to use the asset like this, the light bulb and a dummy of somebody thinking. So first, I'm going to give this light bulb a simple animation. Then I'll pre-compose it. Then bring it into the main composition. Create a null object. Make the light bulb a child of the null object. This will help me create a seamless camera movement to reveal more of this light object. So I'm going to duplicate this light object and offset them on the timeline. Then Create a keyframe, pulling back to reveal this multiple light object in a frame. Then I'll create another animation to reveal again, bringing it back to show only one of the light bulb. On the project manager window, duplicate this scene and rename it scene 2. Then go into the composition, delete all you don't need. Then add your text, animate the text, bring in your dummy and add a simple scale animation. Now we have broken our story into scene 1 and scene 2. And we're going to use this in the next step, continuity. How do you strengthen your continuity? In the previous scene, we made sure that we animated this in mind that we're going to reveal the scene 2. So we pull in, revealing more of the bulb and then pulled out. In the second one, we start by the text and then the BG blowing up to the scene. And when you combine them, this is what you have. But if we hadn't do this, this would have been a bad transition because of poor continuity like this. Now let's touch on consistency. While designing a motion graphic to tell a story, make sure you are consistent with colors, fonts, font type and then all the elements are relative to your storytelling. To keep this simple, you can use the Adobe color to create a color scheme. So with all this principle in mind, storytelling, scene planning, continuity and consistency, then we're going to use all these to create another motion graphics with great transition. Click on the composition icon below the project manager window to create a new composition. For this example, we're going to emphasize on promoting ladies shoe sales. So let's import our related assets. Create a folder and move all of that into a folder so that we can keep things organized. In this composition, we're going to arrange our first scene. So let's bring in our element to the timeline. Add a solid layer as BG. Make all the shoe elements 3D. Add a camera and a controller. Switch to double view. Make sure one of the view is from the top. 
We're going to move these shoes away from each other on the Z axis. Arrange them better. Add a keyframe on the position of the camera controller and animate the camera through the shoes. Select the keyframes and easy ease and keep this consistent across the animation. So let's add a text and give it some movement. Add a position animation. Make the text a 3D layer. Now this is the scene one. You can see how smooth that is. So we're gonna create the scene two and bring it into this scene one because we're using a different approach. So we're gonna create a new composition for the scene two. Add your elements to the timeline. Arrange your elements. I'm gonna use a simple scale to animate this. I'm going to use an ellipse mask to max this out. Then you get this as scene 2. We're going to take this to scene 1. So we'll set it to a place where it should start from. That is somewhere here. This is where we need to create the smooth butterly transition. Then to do that, we need to create a new camera controller. Make it 3D and make the first camera controller a child of the new camera control. This will allow us to have a smooth camera control. I already taught this technique in camera transition. You can find the video above for more details. So we're going to hit you to reveal the keyframes for the first camera control. The second camera control, so hit P to reveal its own position. To this point, we have moved from scene 1, then scene 2 because we brought in asset to follow the story. Then we created a scene. Now we're gonna follow the continuity. We're gonna keyframe one of the shoe to move to scene two to serve as continuity. I wanna move this white one. We're gonna set a keyframe for the position. We're gonna move it into the second scene. At scene two, we can add another camera control so that we can move the camera back to add more elements. Now we are going to create a scene three, but we need a continuity from scene two. So we're going to duplicate the text we have here, change the position so that it will show on screen right here. Now let's create the third scene. In this third scene, I just repeated the same movement I had with scene 1. Before adding the scene 3 to this scene, we need to create a new camera controller. Make the new camera controller a 3D layer and make the last camera controller a child of the new camera controller. We're going to select the new camera controller, hit P on the keyboard, keyframe the Y position of the new camera controller. We're going to use the text as continuity to connect this scene to the third scene. Hit P on the keyboard to set a keyframe for this position. We're going to move up and move the X axis downward. Now let's add the third scene to the timeline. We're going to make it 3D. Set the timing. Now we're going to add two shoe assets to fall into the cut just to round things up. So this is it guys. This is all you need to know about motion graphic transitions. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer you. Also, let me know which of this transition or this principle you think favors you the most that is going to make you create a compelling motion graphic transitions. So you can also check other videos where it will help you on this card. So the project files are available for download. So until I see you again on the next one. My name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.